Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. My name is Senator Veronica Miner, special elect senator from Kenya. Uh, now, online violence is as damaging to women and girls' well-being as much as physical violence. And it's been argued that violence, uh, victims of such violence have the option of going offline when the violence gets too bad. And this presumes that the effects are left online, while the evidence is that the consequences are real, psychological, social, and physical. Now, if digital violence is not addressed in time, there is a risk that gains made in guaranteeing freedom of expression, political rights of women, and right to dignity will be eroded. If women cannot feel safe to discuss issues vocally in online communities, freedom of expression in the Constitution will be infringed. Indeed, women will have to reconsider seeking elective and political positions if the disinformation and bullying is rampant, which will impede on democracy and derail participation of women in governance. If we were to speak the truth, when women feel unsafe, they step back. Because when online violence comes into play in a woman, in a, uh, a woman who is seeking a political office, normally what they do is to abandon that ambition, especially in our jurisdictions. In Kenya, under the constitution, um, there is a protection of rights under Article 28, where the right to privacy includes the right not to have information relating to the person's private affairs unnecessarily revealed, and the right not to have a person's communication infringed upon. In few instances, we've had an situation where these rights have been infringed, but cases have been taken to court. There is an act of parliament, the Computer Misuse and Cybercrimes Act, where this has been criminalized, where child pornography, uh, publication of data, cyber harassment has been criminalized, and that means that offenses can be, uh, people can be fined up to 10,000 USD for infringing on this right. Then we have the Sexual Offenses Act 2006, which criminalizes indecent acts which include exposure or display of any pornographic material to a person against their will. But I must say, we still need to strengthen and firm up the legislative regime so that any act that is perpetrating violence, uh, digital violence against women, can be recognized as one of the electoral offenses within the Republic of Kenya.